all day. It's so sunny, but very cold outside. It's so crisp. It's Friday morning and I have a really exciting weekend. So I thought I'd bring you along with me if you want to spend the weekend with me. Before I talk properly, <laughs> ignore these. I'm naturally very fair. So I always dye my eyebrows and my eyelashes. Um, so ignore that. That's not going to be staying on. I have literally got up and just done that straight away. Because um, like I said, I've got a nice weekend. So I thought I'm going to make an effort. I've put on the comfiest, coziest outfit. I don't even know where this is from. Potentially Matalan, maybe. But it was from my dad. My mum had one and my dad is always cold. So she said, I'll get you one. And he wore it once and was like, it doesn't help. But they gave it me and I love it. Let me show it you. It's so fluffy. I'm not joking. It's literally the warmest thing I've wore. So it's really perfect for this time for weather. So anyway, hello and welcome back. Thank you for coming back to another video. I really appreciate it. So this weekend, we're going to start it early. It's Friday, Friday morning. I've just got up. I'm going to watch a Hallmark Christmas movie while I have my breakfast and a coffee. And then I'm going to get ready and myself and my auntie are going to Manchester to the Christmas market. So we do this every year. This is a tradition for us. I do the same with my mum and I also do the same with Chris. I've got so many traditions that just keep growing and growing. The one common denominator is the all revolve around drinking. But anyway, let's not worry about that. So today, I'm gonna to get ready. Um, we're gonna go around the Christmas markets in Manchester and then we always finish up at a restaurant. We choose a different restaurant every year. So I'll bring you along with us and hopefully we'll get lots of mulled wine, a couple of mulled ciders, definitely some champagne, and I'll take you along so you can see. If you're from Manchester, I'm sure you'll recognize it all. If not, hopefully you might wanna come one day. And then we have loads of nice things this weekend. I've got some baking that I really wanna do. Oh, the sun's just changed, just gone in. Just as I was saying, it was so nice outside, it's not going to last. Uh, yes, I've got some baking that I want to do, and I also am going to Bent's Garden Centre, which you've probably heard me talk about loads of times. It's my favourite garden centre. They really know how to dress up for an occasion. Every season, they decorate it beautifully. There's so many one-off pieces that I just think are beautiful. Most of it is pretty expensive, I'm not going to lie, but it's really nice to walk around, get you in the Christmas spirit, and they have some Christmas markets outside where you can get a Bailey's hot chocolate and some, oh, they do those massive Yorkshire pudding wraps as well, you know, where you put all the food in it, wrap it up. So there's just loads of different like food and drink places. So we're going to make a day of that. That'll be tomorrow. Um, but anyway, back to today. I'll take you along this weekend. We've got loads of nice things planned. So we thought we'll start the weekend early, Friday morning, and I'll be with you all, all this weekend. So I hope you enjoy this vlog. You can come along with us and I will chat to you throughout it. I'm just gonna make myself some breakfast now and then choose a Hallmark Christmas movie to put on to get me in the Christmas spirit. So thanks for watching, I will bring you along and I'll chat to you throughout the day. So we just got into Manchester, we're having our annual Christmas market day. <laughs> Imagine waking up to this on your tree on Christmas morning. I'm walking. 
walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Lately I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes. So it's true. I'm so glad you feel it too. Nothing to hide but falling in love. Some things, thing that we got grew stronger Each day, we're together On the way, oh, we're falling in love To me, it's perfectly clear We're falling in love It was so Christmassy walking around the markets It's just always a really, really nice atmosphere um, after a couple of mulled wines, we then decided to go to a few bars instead and go inside and keep warm. The first bar we went into is called Tast. It's a lovely Spanish restaurant and it's actually owned by Pep Guardiola, the Manchester City manager. Walking around, you and me, the Christmas time's got the best of me, then it starts to snow in a heart. We both know that we're falling in love After we left there, we walked to a new restaurant that's opened up called Sexy Fish. I believe there's one in London and everyone's been raving about it. So we decided to have a glass of champagne at the bar in there. But beforehand, we walked past an art gallery and it just took my fancy. So we went in and looked at some of the pieces. They were absolutely beautiful. If I was rich and had a massive house, I would absolutely have artwork hanging. My favorite artist is Jack Vetriano. And I felt like this artist painted really similar. I could definitely see similarities. We've just come out of Sexy Fish and now we're walking to go into the Ivy. We're going to have a little drink in there. Following the ivy, we did a short walk to 20 stories, took the lift up to the very top and you have some beautiful views of the Manchester skyline. It was crisp, cold evening, but outside they have loads of heaters, loads of blankets, it's so cosy. I absolutely loved the light archway and the lanterns leading in. The Christmas tree in there was beautifully decorated. It was just a lovely, cosy, warm, inviting atmosphere. And then outside you'll see the reindeer, the way that was all set up. It was just so pretty. Um, just like something out of a Christmas movie. They have some really sweet corners where it's all glassed off and there's heaters in there. Couches, it's just really cosy and I think it would be great if there was a group of you. It's perfect for a date, it looks very romantic. So we really enjoyed sitting outside, soaking up the views and of course drinking some delicious cocktails. And then after that we decided it was time to eat. Chris is on the way to pick us up, so we've had such a 
our compass on and get in front of the TV. Hello! Welcome back. So I've just got back from the Christmas markets and the day in town with my auntie. We had such a lovely day. It's so nice, we do this every year. It's just become a really sweet tradition that we look forward to every year. We had a lovely little stroll around the markets. We had some mulled wine, some mulled cider. We went in a few bars, had some champagne, and then we spotted a really cute little art gallery. So we just had a little mooch about there. Have a look around at some of his work and it was fantastic. It's such beautiful pieces. They were very expensive though, but it was lovely to um, see them and to experience the atmosphere of being in an art gallery. And then after that, we went to 20 Stories, the Ivy. We had lots of nice places that we went to, so it was really great. Glad we went there. And then we finished up in a little cute Italian trattoria. We've been out for about eight hours and it's gone so fast. We've literally not stopped talking the whole day. Had a couple of drinks, obviously, and we just had a lovely day together. So I'm gonna take my makeup off now and then I'm gonna get a shower and get in bed. I'm um, re-watching Gossip Girl, which I absolutely loved the first time around. My mum and I used to always watch that together. So now we've both started re-watching it separately, like me here and her in her house, which is literally two streets away from where I am. But um, we're both absolutely loving getting back into that. So I'm gonna get in bed and put Gossip Girl on. And then tomorrow we have a really nice day. We're gonna get up pretty early. We're gonna go to Fence Garden Centre, like I mentioned. So they are fantastic decor. Honestly, like you and for a treat. I can't wait to go this year. I've not been this year yet. We go every year, normally me, Mum and Chris, the three of us make a day of it. So we're gonna do that. It's nice to spend the day there together, the three of us. And um, we'll just see what the day takes us tomorrow. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'll bring you along. So I'm gonna finish off taking makeup off and then get in the shower and I'll chat to you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. We're up bright and early, Saturday morning, and we're going to Bent's, finally going to the garden centre that I'm obsessed with. Chris has just run into Costa, he's gonna get us a coffee, and then we're gonna collect my mum. So the three of us are going together, we're gonna have a nice little day. So I'm looking forward to getting some inspiration more than anything, because the way they set everything out is just like, you've never thought of doing it that way before. The trees that they decorate, everything looks incredible. And when you see each piece individually on the shelf, you probably wouldn't pick it up. But when you look at a tree completely done up by them, amazing. So I'm looking forward to going and getting some inspiration. Um, and then they have a little food court too outside, like a mini kind of Christmas market. So I'm sure we'll get a Bailey's hot chocolate or something there. So it'll just be a lovely little day. We don't really have much more planned. So... Um, I can see Chris coming back, so we're going to enjoy our costas. I've gone for a chai latte because that to me is the epitome of a Christmas drink. I absolutely love it. I don't like things too sweet, but I think the chai lattes with coconut milk from Costa is the absolute one. It's just like Christmas in a drink to me. It's my favourite, so I'm looking forward to that. And then we're going to collect my mum and we'll be at Bent's Garden Centre in about 25 minutes. So looking forward to that. I will bring you along. I really hope you enjoy it. These snow displays and that little village scenery just looks so Christmassy, so cosy and just like a little Christmas village from a movie. I think they're beautiful, so creative and it just makes you want to jump inside and be involved in that little Christmas village. How adorable is that? Yes, I am on my way. We'll put our differences aside and just enjoy this moment of peace and love and happiness. We come together to celebrate. Yes, every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. 
Yes, every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. These baubles hanging from the ceiling are so effective, it's something that I'd really like to try. We've done all of our shopping, I'll show you later what we got. Um, and now we're just sat, about to get a mould cider, I think I'm going to have one. I'm going to have a Bailey's hot chocolate or a mould wine. And then they've got loads of little food stalls around, so we're probably going to get something uh, from here. shower after Ben's we grabbed a Bailey's hot chocolate a Prosecco we sat and shared some nachos that was lovely and then we also went to a local pub just had some picky bits had a pint of cider which is my absolute favorite and then we came home and we've not really done anything so I've not picked up the camera at all Chris and I just had a really relaxing evening we've then um, just been watching Married at First Sight we've still got loads to catch up on on that so we're way behind so we just want to finish that so it's been a really relaxing evening and um, I'm just about to get in the shower and then I'm going to go to bed. So nothing exciting. But then tomorrow we have a lovely little day planned at home. I want to do some cinnamon swirl baking and just a few little cosy things. Definitely going to have a light in because I feel like I am massively in need of some sleep. So I'm going to do that. So I will chat to you in the morning. from a very lazy next day. I am having the most relaxing morning ever. In fact, it's not the morning anymore, it's the afternoon. I've had such a lie-in, which I really, really needed. Um, I've been on the couch, I've watched a Christmas movie, which was quite cute. I just like ones where you don't have to think much. So that was nice. I got to watch one of them. And then um, Chris has just nipped out because we're gonna do our baking. I've just put a bit of makeup on to make myself feel a bit more alive. We've literally been horizontal the whole morning and into the afternoon. So now it's getting on for two o'clock and I think we should probably do something. So we're gonna do our baking. So I'm gonna make the cinnamon swirls that I've been dying to make. Um, I saw a really, really nice recipe. It looked so easy to follow. So I'm not a baker, but hopefully I'll be able to give it a good go. Um, and Chris has decided as I'm baking, he's gonna help me, but he also wants to make some focaccia. He is a massive bread lover. Like you've never seen anything like it. If Chris is snoring in the middle of the night, I'll say, Chris, like, can you go in the spare room? You're snoring. And he'll walk out of our room. Instead of turning left to the spare room, he'll go right and then he'll end up in the kitchen and he just eats dry bread. Like, he's crazy. <laughs> I've never known anything like it. Four o'clock in the morning, who wakes up and instantly thinks bread? He does. So yeah, he's gonna make some focaccia bread. Um, I can't imagine it lasting longer than a day, this bread, because bread in this house never goes off. 
Chris is the bread fiend, literally. But I'm looking forward to trying that. So we're just having a really cute, wholesome day at home, nice and cozy. It's the perfect kind of weekend, a good mixture of everything. But today it's just cold, crisp outside. So it's nice to stay wrapped up, got the heating on, got my laundry to do, nothing exciting at all. But it's just gonna be a nice cozy little day for us. So I'm gonna get baking as soon as it gets in and I'm sure I'll show you all the results if it's turned out well, but if not, let's forget that I was baking. <laughs> boring weekend to most of you but to me this is the absolute ideal way to spend a weekend. I've had such a lovely mixture of being out with my family and being with Chris, being on the go, going to nice fancy places and then being home, having a relaxing time, catching up on sleep. It's just been a perfect weekend. So thanks for spending the weekend with me. Today you will have seen I had a proper lion. I feel like I really need to catch up on sleep. I got up, I got up about 11. Chris got up about 12 in that hour. I sat in the living room on my own, watched some Gossip Girl. And one of my favourite things to do is watch a Z-list Hallmark movie Christmas film, which I also did today. That was so nice. I can't remember the name of it. It actually wasn't the best I've ever seen. However, I'm actually stuck because on Netflix, I've seen literally every Christmas movie that there is other than the kids ones like animation which I'm not interested in I've seen everything so I spotted this one yesterday and it said newly released and it's called best Christmas ever it wasn't 
it's not the typical cheesy Christmas movie that I like. I love the ones that are set in a little remote town. It's usually a girl that's from a small town. She's moved to New York to pursue her dreams in some fancy career. She's so successful. And then something happens and she comes back home for the holidays. And then she falls in love with the place again. And she falls in love in general. And then decides that she wants to give up the life in the city and move back home. Be on a ranch or in a quaint little town. It's so Christmassy and cute. So that's the fairy tale Christmas movie that I tend to like. There's so many. Literally. There's been that many. Like I said, I've watched them all. So I'm stuck. So I've finished Netflix once and now I'm going to have to go on Amazon once. So it's the kind of thing, it's a little guilty pleasure when I'm home on my own. I flick through them. I absolutely love them. Caught up on The Great British Bake Off. We were a couple of episodes behind that. And then that inspired me. As soon as I watched that, I was like, I'm ready to make my cinnamon swirls. So we did that. Chris helped me do it. And as I was making my cinnamon swirls, he also really wanted to make some focaccia. So he made that. Um, it took a few hours for his because you have to let it prove, then roll it out, let it prove again, or roll it out. So it was a process, but the cinnamon swirls were a lot quicker, so that was nice. Then we shared one of those, and a couple of hours later when his bread was ready, we then had a little cheese board, a little charcuterie board, some red wine, bread, oil that he made. It was lovely, that, that bread was delicious. So that was great. And we just had a really relaxing um, night in front of the TV. Like I said, to most people, this might be boring. But to me, this is my absolute ideal weekend. A proper mixture of being with people and also spending some time on my own to recharge, which I think is really important. Being surrounded by people day in, day out, talking so much is a lot. And I think you definitely need time to recharge, which is exactly what I did today. So thank you so much for watching this vlog it's a little bit different from what i normally do i do have another christmas decorate with me and a christmas um haul because i have a few more things that have accumulated over the last few days that i haven't shown you and i thought some of you might be interested in them so i'm going to show you that and i'm definitely going to do a decorate with me it's going to be a decorate with me and chris so i don't know how much footage i'll get because he hates being on the camera but i will try so thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I appreciate your support and your kind comments. It really, really means a lot. So thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you again in the next one. Good night.